There are things that men think women care about, but in reality, they don't. Do you agree with me? Men usually think that they need to have a sports car, six-pack abs, or a mansion to be able to get the attention of females. To all our men subscribers, do you agree with me? Do you want to know what women don't really care about that you mistakenly thought they love? I'll reveal it to you today. Let's get started. Number 7. Money This is the first thing that I really want to point out. Women don't care how much your car costs, what kind of watch you wear, or that you pay top dollar for a meal. We do, however, care if your life is mostly focused on money or not. The majority of the time, your work ethic, enthusiasm, ambition, and interests matter more than your bank account balance. This method can be applied to a variety of situations. It's less important what you have than what you can create with. It's usually not a smart idea to start a relationship with a woman if she's only interested in your financial status. Be careful though, some women are gold diggers, but not most women are like that. Women spend time with you because of you and for no other reason. Number 6. Your manhood size Women generally don't care about the size of your penis. Many guys today believe that their penis is extremely significant and that the bigger it is, the better. Not just for their egos but also to pleasure women. In actuality, the vast majority of penis sizes available are perfect for the majority of women. In actuality, we don't even consider your size as a factor. Why? It certainly doesn't tell anything about your personality and it certainly doesn't indicate whether you're excellent in bed or not. Never judge your self-worth or level of confidence in life by the size of your penis. Women are more interested in your charisma and attentiveness both inside and outside of the bedroom. Men who are preoccupied with their penis size, in all honesty, probably struggle with their confidence. In the end, ladies don't give a damn. So why should you? Number 5. Fancy Restaurants Undoubtedly, every woman enjoys being taken out to a lovely dinner, but not always. We would much rather engage in a creative, enjoyable activity that allows us to socialize and have fun together. Some of my more memorable meals and dates have ranged from a home-cooked meal to a tiny hole-in-the-wall eatery to a taco truck. We are more interested in the bonding and the memories shared than the place you bring them to. Number 4. Vulnerability Many guys mistakenly believe that expressing emotions and being vulnerable is unattractive or unmanly. But nothing could be further from the truth. Most women are drawn to emotionally stable, expressive guys. Many men, in my opinion, are reluctant to express their feelings because they believe doing so will make them appear weak to other men. However, most women find it quite sexy if a man can express their emotions, especially in their presence, which builds a stronger link. What does it mean by emotionally stable? Basically, ladies want males who will cry when they feel like it during a movie. It implies that males are generally open to expressing their sentiments, especially when overwhelmed by them in a private setting. Now, this does not mean that you should break down in tears every time you argue in front of others because that is not at all sexy. Overall, it's crucial to be open and be able to communicate one's emotions in a relationship, especially if done so sincerely. Number 3 hair. In actuality, most women don't give a crap about your graying hair or a resenting hairline, although most men are very into their hair. Gray hair is often associated with maturity among women, which is excellent for males. We are more likely to be interested in your personality, sense of humor, and other aspects of your person than in your receding hairline. If you have graying or thinning hair and you are in your 20s, 
30s or 40s, just accept it as a part of who you are and own it. The worst thing you can do is try to cover it up by dyeing your hair as this will make it painfully evident to most people, especially women, who will then doubt your self-confidence. You shouldn't do it because, in all honesty, it only makes you appear worse than when you're in your natural form. Number 2. Perfect Body Contrary to popular belief, a woman's ultimate ambition is not to find a man with six-pack abs. Instead, it is to find her true love. Actually, a man who proudly displays a dad bod has a mysterious seductive quality. We don't expect you to have a set of abs that are so sculpted. The amount of weight you can bench press or the number of gains you made this week aren't things we give much attention to. What do we value then? Your confidence in your body and in yourself is also that is required. Lifting weights or using creatine won't help you do it. Number 1. Constant Praise Most women don't genuinely want men to place them on a pedestal and constantly compliment them. Nevertheless, some guys like doing just that. In actuality, a lot of women dislike being idolized. Yes, everyone appreciates a sincere compliment now and again, but if you are constantly being held in high regard, it may cause a rift in your relationship. Most women want a relationship with you and to be treated equally by you, not as something superior or inferior. Additionally, they could believe that sharing their vulnerabilities or experiences would shatter the ideal woman or body myth. Being idealized as a woman can initially be incredibly pleasant, but it probably has severe long-term repercussions. Nobody is perfect, and everyone has flaws. It's crucial to talk about these imperfections and avoid having the mentality that everything must be flawless since doing so would make a woman feel as though she must put on makeup at night to look perfect when she wakes up. The likelihood that your relationship will end and you'll both be unhappy is exceptionally high if you place women on a pedestal. What numbers do you think made you realize that you were wrong to think of women that way? You should know by now that these are the things that women don't care about. Go get your girl and don't be hindered by your mind. Maybe she's just waiting for your approach. What do you think about this topic? Do you agree with me too? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.